For so many viewers out there, people are wondering, when should you start your retirement planning? Well, we're going to ask financial advisor Stuart Chamberlain. He's the founder of Chamberlain Financial. Stuart, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, so when do you like people to start their retirement planning? Is this something that, that we wait for when we're ready to walk out that, that corporate door that last day? We got the Timex on and now we want to hit retirement? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, theoretically, you start uh, planning for retirement as soon as you start funding a retirement plan like a 403B or 401k or an IRA. So, you know, the earlier, the better. Everybody's situation is different, but the earlier you start planning, the better off you're going to be in retirement. The earlier you start working with a financial advisor to guide you and to map out that plan, the better you're going to be in retirement. Uh, thank you for saying that, because I, I do like people to start as early as they can. But, you know, with those 401ks or 403bs or even the TSP, it's it's pretty much self-directed. You're not you're not really getting a lot of guidance on how to choose the investments. Do you mind talking to people in those early stages? I don't mind at all. Actually, uh, in, in some cases, they can be advised depending on the plan administrator if they allow that. Mm -hmm. um, but the, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, plans are, are limited to what's in the plan, like you said. Uh, they don't really have a, um, a guaranteed part of the plan that's mm -hmm. going to help draw down or pay you a lifetime income right. once you do retire. I mean, in the old days, we had pensions. A lot yeah. of companies had pensions. They don't have pensions anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it's your social security, it's your 401k or 403b, your IRA that you're, you know, kicking the can down the road. You're yeah. growing these uh, these investments tax de tax deferred, not tax free. Mm -hmm. And the whole purpose of having a retirement plan in the first place is to convert that into some sort of income plan when you need it in retirement. Yeah. Have you heard about this? So in Secure 2.0, they were talking about opening the door of having things like annuities inside a 401k. Would you be in favor of something like that? Because I mean, that, that would address exactly what you're talking about, that we no longer have guaranteed pension plans in our retirement accounts. Yeah, some plans have um, you know, an annuity type of vehicle in mm -hmm. them, but m most do not. Uh, that's a, you know, a separate type of vehicle that's usually issued by an insurance carrier. And the, the goal of the plan or the plan administrator and the people that manage the uh, assets in there is to keep you basically invested in the market, okay? But as you age and you get older, your risk tolerance starts to go down as you get to that retirement age. Mm -hmm. So, you know, good rule of thumb, using your age as a percentage, you know, if you're 50, then maybe 50% of all your assets should be in something that has a guarantee, a guarantee of principal or guarantee of income or a combination of both that you can, you know, defer when you need it. Um, as you, uh, you know, start to uh, get nearer to that mm -hmm. window, that day, you have a, a vision in your head, a goal of when to actually retire, you need to start really sitting down and planning exactly what, what your exit is from the company and how you're going to convert those funds into a, an income stream that you can live on. Yeah. Let me ask you on the other side, because it, it's great if you can do that, that pre-planning and start as early as possible. There are a lot of folks, though, out there who also might feel like they're really far behind. Maybe it's even too late. Is it yeah. too late yeah. to do retirement planning? Well, it's never too late, but uh, you, you might be a little bit behind you know, where maybe your colleagues and friends are, but there are certain things you can do to catch up, you know, whether it's a catch up, if, depending on your age, of course, if you're over 59 and a half uh, and you're still contributing to a plan, you know, there are ways to uh, catch up and actually commit or, you know, uh, contribute more mm -hmm. to, to an IRA, for instance. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from what I also understand is that uh, depending on the limitation of the funds I have, if we're at that 59 and a half, mm -hmm. it, Sometimes it, it might be worthwhile to roll some of that out, but I'm not rolling it out to myself. I'd be rolling it out into right. another investment plan. How exactly does that work? Well, if it's qualified money, and, and most plans are qualified, there are some plans out there that are not qualified plans, but most of them are qualified, meaning you have not paid taxes on this money, so you should do a rollover, that's what it's called, into an IRA. And when you do a rollover, that's not a taxable event. If you take a distribution, that's a taxable event. If you do a rollover, it's not a taxable event, but by doing so, you're uh, giving yourself access to a lot more options that are not available inside the plan. Plus, you're lowering fees. In many cases, a lot of plans have a lot of fees associated with that plan that maybe mm -hmm. you can't really see that can have a direct uh, effect on the overall performance of, of the assets in that plan. So it's always wise to sit down with a financial advisor that's you know, very well versed in this topic 
and do a rollover into an IRA, into something that fits your, your goal for retirement. All right, Stuart, thank you very much. We know it can be a difficult question to try to answer for yourself. When should you start your retirement planning? Well, as soon as you possibly can, but also know it's never too late either. You can sit down with a financial advisor such as Stuart Chamberlain here, founder of Chamberlain Financial, and find out exactly what you need to do to get yourself on the pathway to your retirement. <music>